Family, how y'all doing? It is hot in Florida, y'all. It is hot. So, fam, um, today I want to talk about being you and loving yourself unapologetically. And um, I guess I decided to make this video because of how, how I've been feeling lately. And I'm going to blame it on the retrograde. I'm blaming it on the retrograde. You know how I've been feeling lately, fam? I've been feeling like everything and everyone, I just don't give a shit. <laughs> I am done. Like, And it's not in a bad way. I'm not mad at anything, anybody. I'm just like, I just don't care right now. I don't care what anybody wants. You understand what I'm saying? I just don't care, okay? Um, and I'm gonna blame it on the eclipse, retrograde, all that. And it's probably, that's probably exactly what, I feel like for some of us, this retrograde is like working for us in certain ways. And that's how I've been feeling. Like uh, everything and everyone, okay? With love, if that's possible. <laughs> with love. Everyone and everything with love. Uh, so fam, let me first start by saying, you know, many of us, we have, you know, the natural gift of healing and raising people's vibration and sometimes that's what people want us for they want us to help lift them to raise their vibration and you know what and that's great it's it's cool because some of us many of us we don't even mind doing it half of the time we don't even know we're doing it because that's just the natural gift of having the ability to raise people's vibration and lift people with our energy and you know um but sometimes we need our space. And sometimes it's not even just that we need our space. Sometimes we just change and we evolve and there are certain things we just don't want to do anymore. And that's okay, fam. That's cool. Please do not let anyone make you feel guilty for not wanting to do certain things or not don't you know what they can't make you feel guilty it's usually us who's making ourselves feel guilty so do not be hard on yourself or don't you allow yourself to feel guilty about not wanting to do things a certain way not wanting to involve yourself in certain things or taking some time to just sit around and scratch your ass fam if you would rather be at home sitting in the house scratching your ass instead of hanging around people, scratch on, fam. Scratch on, okay? And and do you. Just just be you. Be to yourself. Whatever that is, that whatever feels good to you, that it feels right to you to stay away from people or whatever the case might be, to be in your hermit mode, whatever. Do you, fam. You know, a lot of times... You know, people, when they want your energy, they want what they want. It's not so much as they're trying to raise your vibration or do something for you. They are trying to get what they want from you. And it's not that they're bad people or doing anything wrong. But it's not about what they want. What you want is important too. And you're not obligating nobody to scratch your ass for you. You just want to be to yourself and chill and do you. So do that. And listen, if you have to ignore people, ignore them. You know what I'm saying? If you have to stand up to yourself and uh, stand up for yourself and, and tell people, hey, listen, you are not respecting my boundaries. This is what I want to do right now. And you should respect that. Sometimes people don't understand and they ain't gonna hear that so don't say nothing sometimes you just ignore them and it's not because you're trying to be shady or mean with if people don't really understand that you need to be to yourself you help them understand 
or not, whatever. Either way, you do you. Okay, fam? That's, that's, that's first. Don't feel guilty about spending time alone, being to yourself, not being involved in certain things. Don't feel bad about it. Do you, fam? You know, fam, another thing that we need to do is understand that if it is not for our highest good, my eye is twitching like it's been twitching all morning. It feels so weird. If it is not for our highest good, let it go. Cut it off. I know it's easier said than done, and I, that's why I don't like telling y'all things to do because it's stuff I need to do myself. I've done pretty well with letting go of things that are no good for me and, and you know, not for my highest good. I think I got one more thing left, and that would be my job. I only work part-time, but I, it, it, it's like a little security blanket, and I'm just hanging on by a thread because <laughs> it's just not the place to be, okay? Uh, if it wasn't for some of the people there, I, I, I wouldn't mind, but uh, I got to let that go. So I got to practice what I preach. But as far as, uh, you know, there are some other things that, you know, I've definitely let go of. And I definitely see the growth and change in my life after letting go of those things. Absolutely. So if it's not for your highest good, fam, let it go. Let it go, fam. Cut it off. Whether that is unhealthy habits, unhealthy people, whatever it is. I'm going to have to move again. Give me a second. That's better. So, yes, fam. If it's not for your highest good, whatever it is unhealthy habits, unhealthy people, no matter what it is, if it's not for your highest good, let it go. Get rid of it. You know, I know, I know it's not easy, but watch and see. Watch after you do it. Watch what happens after you do it. You'll be rewarded in ways that uh, you can't even explain. Give it a try. And last but not least, fam, I swear this looks so dark. It looks so weird. Hope it come out all right. Last but not least, fam. <sighs> learn your worth and learn to value yourselves. Fam, listen to me. Do not allow any forms of disrespect, not a little bit, do not allow any forms of ta being taken advantage of, slightly being taken for granted, any of that. Do not allow any of it, not even a little bit, because that's how it starts. Next thing, that's, that's how manipulation starts. Next thing you know, you lost yourself. Don't allow it, fam. No types of disrespect, no types of being taken for granted, no types of none of that. Don't allow any of that in your life, fam. Not even a little bit, okay? Not even a little bit. That's how you learn to learn your value and to truly value yourself. It's okay to be alone. You don't understand the beautiful things that happens when you're alone, the healing that happens for you when you're alone. And when you accept the fact that there's you, you need to focus on you heal yourself in certain ways put your energy into different directions into your health into your beauty i don't give a shit into whatever it is that makes you feel good about you and don't allow any of that shit in your space so um before I end the video, fam, um, let me just say, I'm pretty sure that some of you have been in this hermit mode like me. It's like I break out of it every now and again. And then other than that, I don't want to go anywhere. I want to stay in the house. And I try to kind of like push myself to get out and do things sometimes. And if you feel the urge to get out of that hermit mode, 
then sometimes you do need to kind of like just push yourself to go ahead and do it. Go ahead and get out. Um, other than that, don't really push yourself. You might end up like me a couple weekends ago. I decided my oldest daughter was at home. They're always at home on the weekend. My oldest, she was at home. She wasn't working. And so I'm like, you know what? I'm finna go out. I'm finna get cute. And I'm finna go somewhere. So I got dressed, got all fly. And I went to this hookah lounge, pulled up and parked outside, sat there for a minute. I was like, man, I ain't going in there. <laughs> I went and got something to eat, took my ass home. And I'm driving on the way home like, really, Nadia, did you seriously just get all fresh to pull up in front of the place and then leave and get something to eat and go home? Like, really? I guess I wasn't ready. But I'll be getting out in a couple of weeks. I'm going to be going to some festival. One of my friends are coming down from Miami. And um, I'm going to get out. And it's a big festival. So probably be a whole lot of people there. But um, hey, I have the urge to kind of like, you know, we got to get out. And we got to experience, y'all. So um, only if you feel like it. Only if you have that urge to get out do you push yourself. Other than that, don't push yourself. Like I said, sit back, relax, scratch your ass, whatever it is you want to do at home, just chill out and do you, okay? So that's it for this video, fam. Thank you for watching. I'll see all of y'all next time. Peace and blessings.